Today I am going to explain you about how waste waters from apartments are treated in tree paper plant and how they can be reused. Before we begin, let us see what is waste water and why we must treat it. Most of the water we use in our homes and industries gets dirty and these water needs to be treated before it is released back into the environment. Nature has an amazing ability to recycle small amount of water waste and pollution. But we humans are a huge population <coughs> and if we did treat billions of liters of wastewater produced by us every day, it would be overwhelming for nature to purify them. To handle this, we must build treatment plants to reduce the pollutants in wastewater to a certain level which, will, which can be easily handled by nature. Mainly, in our home we use water in bathrooms, toilets, kitchen, floor, floor cleaning, washing machine, etc. And they become dirty. These waters are to be treated well for reuse. But building treatment plants are more expensive. So we must build them in a centralized place and it can be used by all. Here is the model of water treatment plant. The wastewater from all apartments will enter the collection tank through pipes. When it enters the, uh, the water treatment plant through a stream, there are large vertical conveyor bars that are placed in the inlet of the sewage flowing stream that stops the larger items from getting into the plant and hurting the machineries like pumps. This is also called as pre-treatment as it removes the larger items like flushable wipes, wooden logs, plastic items, etc. And these collected debris are transported to solid waste treatment plants. Grid chamber. Grid chamber. Uh, this is also a pre-treatment process. Small lightweight particles like stone, sand and rocks are allowed to settle down in this chamber. As these particles cannot be treated using chemicals and they will clog and destroy bumps. Primary clarifier. This works on the principle of settling velocity. That means that the speed of which a particle can settle. It's important to maintain the flow rate of the inlet water doesn't exceed the settling velocity of the particles trying to be removed. Any particles larger than 10 micrometers are captured in this chamber. The top layer of the client fire overflows into the next chamber of the process. Next comes secondary treatment. The main purpose of this chamber is to reduce the biological content of the sewage. This process starts with a large aeration basin. The bottom of this basin will contain thousands of tiny air blowers that create bubbles through the water. This allows a bunch of happy little bacteria which get to eat their favorite food. This bacteria used to oxygen injected by the bubblers creates a process called aerobic digestion. Almost 85% of all organic matters are removed at the end of this process. Next comes disinfection process. Disinfection is the final step of all. It is accomplished through one of three different ways like 
chemical disinfection method, ozone disinfection method, and UV disinfection method. Adding chlorine into the water kills any remaining bacteria and microorganisms still living in the water through chemical disinfection method. In this method, chlorine itself must be further removed before discharging the water into water bodies. Ozone disinfection is another method where an electric current is passed through the water. And it causes cell decomposition of microorganisms and kills bacteria. Ultraviolet disinfection is the most natural common method used which will sterilize the bacteria making them harmless. After all these steps, the water is tested for its purity and if all the disinfectants are removed, then it can be let out into natural water bodies like pond, lake, rivers, etc. Otherwise, the water must be treated again based on its purification level. Every drop of water is precious. So let us use them wisely by recycling. Thank you.